All right, guys, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel. Today, we're going to teach you the keys to an effortless bowling swing. Stay tuned. All right, so when we talk about the bowling swing, there's a lot of things we can talk about. And there's a lot of sports out there that involve like power, like a baseball swing and a golf swing. And when you talk about those things, you talk about lag and how it's like you don't want to overforce it because then you lose power. If you do it correctly, then you gain power. The bowling swing is very similar. And we're going to get into the swing a little bit here in a second. But first, Kyle's going to talk about how you can start uh, ways that you can start your approach that allow you to have more of an effortless bowling swing. Yeah, I think the one of the keys to an effortless bowling swing is the very beginning, and that's in our setup. When we get up there, and we've talked about this in the past, we see a lot of people get into a mode where they're very tight and grabby right at the start. You're very tense here. We want to make sure we're loose here at the very beginning because if we're tight and grabby, and we go to push away and that's the state we're in, it's gonna be really hard to loosen up in the swing. There was a time actually at the TOC, this last PBA tour season, we were bowling and I started off really well in the tournament, but then later on, my swing just felt like I couldn't get the ball to go in the same place twice. And Schlemmer, one of the, works for Roto Grip, but also came out to rep that week, talked to me, he's like, Kyle, you're just forcing your push away and you're so tense to start. It's like, just loosen up here. This, the beginning, has to be loose or else your swing, you're going to feel like you're spraying it everywhere. And I was like, huh, okay, at this point, I could try anything. So as soon as I did that, all of a sudden, the ball is online again. I was loose here and the very start of my stance in the push away, and all of a sudden, the ball is going in the right direction. So when you tried to get loose with your push away, what exactly was your thought process in terms of just your push away? What were you trying to do? Yeah, for me, what a habit I get into is I'm very tense here and I really try to place my push away. And he's like, dude, don't try to place it because one time you're placing it here, one time you're placing it here. Just stay really loose with your hand, your arm, your shoulder here, and then just let that ball drop. And as soon as I thought about not placing, just being really loose here, ball's going in the right direction. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, a nice, uh, when, you, when you're standing up there and if you feel a little tense, sometimes a nice deep breath and just blow your air out. Um, that can help you just relax your body a little bit. Another thing is your left arm, or just the opposite arm. You're holding the ball with whatever arm you have to use, and then the other arm holds the ball a little bit. So that arm can, you can take some of the weight of the ball, laying it on the other arm, which could let this arm be a little bit looser. That's a couple tools. Doesn't, it's, not, uh, it's not guaranteed, but if you're working on it, those are a couple things you could use. Yeah, so let's throw a shot here. So okay. something that would be incorrect would be when we get up here and we're getting set, if you find yourself when you're in this motion and your shoulders are all tense and you feel like your hand pressure is a lot, a little hunched you here. can really tell by the shoulder. This is not exactly a stance we want to get into. It's going to be hard to really have a loose swing. Instead, what we want to do is we want to get up there I want to be nice and loose, and like Brad said, I try to do this a lot, is hold a little bit of the weight in my opposite hand, so this would be my left hand, and then I just want to feel like I'm real loose here, and then we're going to go into the swing, nice and loose here, not trying to place it. Now, sometimes when we're talking about being loose, when you're saying placing, when you take your second step that you push out on, the what you like to, the placement aspect comes from you taking the ball physically and just placing it, like kind of extending the arm, placing it out in front of you. And the second you really extend and place, it's forced the rest of the way. That one was more of like a step and then you just kind of like drop it into the push away and then just, you're done. Yeah, the, the rest it. of it is just walking. Yeah. Like you walk past your ball. If you get to the point where you're walking past your ball and it feels a little awkward or whatever, that's probably a good thing because before you were placing it in a little shovey, now you're just 
placing it and then walking past it. That's where the momentum starts to develop and that's where the swing starts to get loose is if it's loose and you're just walking past it. It's placed, it's never good. So now we have a feel for the beginning of the approach and how to get the start of an effortless swing. What is something that people can work on throughout the swing or at the bottom? So on the way up, on the upswing, it's all that push away. I mean, that's the beginning, right? So if the push away is good, the swing normally will be good because at that time you're walking, your body's in motion. You're not even thinking about your arm at that point sometimes. So the upswing, push away, good. Now let's talk about the downswing, because that's where, I mean, all of us, we like to get it up here, and now yeah. it's like, it's go time, baby. Yeah. Let's, but it, it's just the same as the other sports. You know, there's an, a thing called effortless power, and let's talk about that. So we get here, loose push away, and then we get here. Now, what we all like to do is we like to put hand in it, and we like to put revs on, and we like to put speed on it. So our brains naturally think, well, in order to do all those things, let's just like force our release down into the release. Well, it's kind of natural for us to do that. So if you didn't force it, it almost feels like it's lazy back here. Let me get in the shot. It almost feels like you get here and then you almost become not lazy with your body, but lazy with your arm. And that lag I was talking about, baseball swing, golf swing, it's similar in bowling as you get it right here, you want like a one or two second lag because when it's up here, you got about two steps left. And when you, get into the, when you go into that four step, that little power timing step, same time the ball's up here, when you go into your slide, you want this to kind of hang and then you go into your slide, just look at my arm right there. I'm trying to keep it up, but as I slide, it naturally comes down a little bit. You want that section to be natural. Now, for most of us, if we actually get it to the point where it's natural, it's going to feel like, oh my, because we're so used to pulling down. Don't pull down. And if you go to the bowling alley to work on it, sometimes it's hard to know when you're pulling down. Just really try and work on that lag. A little bit more lag for most of us will create a longer, uh, what do they call it? Flat spot. Flat there spot, we go. yep. And that's just the section at release. This gets a little lag. The slide goes, the release has power. This gets forced, it gets to the release too quick, you grab it and you lose power every time. Yeah, it's weird how, you know, and like you said, in a lot of sports, more power, more muscle often doesn't translate into actual power that we need. Yes. Yeah, we need to be loose, timing, and then just let the ball come off your hand. And because the more grab we have and the more force we're gonna have, never generates with red rev rate and ball speed. I can't tell you how many times I've been bowling and I'm not doing very well and all of a sudden I'm thinking, okay, screw trying to create something, trying to do something, just walk, let the swing swing, get in a good position and see what happens. And it, it comes out to be like the better position you're in at the foul line, you know, trail leg down, down a little bit, steady. Those things help you create more power than actually physically trying to create power. And I've, I've, I bowl so much better when I think that. And it's always, I'm grabby, I'm grabby. Yep, it's every time. It's so quick, like you bowl three games, you bowl good and all of a sudden grabby. It's like, uh, it's hard. Why? But <laughs> practice, but that lag and that half a second delay allows your slide to go and then you can just kind of come through the ball without any force. All right, everyone, so that's a few keys on the bowling swing. It's an intricate thing, it's a difficult thing. Bowling is a difficult game. So just make sure you get out there and you work on it. If it feels uncomfortable, it's okay, we've been there. Take a break, come back the next day and try it. The power thing, once you get the lag down, you'll start to experience some more power without actually having to try. So give it a shot, go out and practice. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see y'all later. Later.